The Foundation for Excellence in Mental Health Care was really started in February of 2011. Several of us around the world were reading Bob Whitaker's book, Anatomy of an Epidemic. It caused quite a stir, and I remember throwing the book uh, across the, the room, looking at my husband saying, um, now I have to quit my job and do something else. We have to pay attention to this information and ask questions. Well, several people around the world were feeling the same thing and got in touch with the author, and out of that, um, several of us created the Foundation for Excellence in Mental Health Care. The Foundation's mission really is to match the passion of private philanthropy with the world's top researchers and programs to create recovery-based care in every community. If we don't change the standard of care, who's going to do it? We have a body of research that has been done over the last 30 years, plus new research that shows medication delayed or used very little in the first two years does better for people, and people that are not put on medications long-term actually do better. We have new research that shows that there's programs all over the world that really work for people. There's a reason to have hope. Imagine when you get a diagnosis and that you're told that you'll never recover, that you'll always be sick. That in and of itself uh, is a hope robber. The Foundation for Excellence in Mental Health Care's tagline is expect recovery. And I've been able to witness people not only get better, but recover and lead full lives, have jobs, get married, and people say, I thought that you had a mental illness. Well, we don't use that word. It's a mental health challenge. We need to have a conversation as a society about what works and what doesn't work for people and fund research that is not paid for by any commercial interest that stands to gain. A regular community foundation is structured so it's small geographically, maybe it covers a state or a region, and it focuses on a number of things, whatever a donor wants to fund. We took that model and turned it upside down. We currently have 30 funds uh, within the foundation. One of our strategies is to add more. We have donor advised funds, incubator funds, endowment funds. We have a number of ways that we can uh, put together whatever a donor wants to do. We have a global scientific advisory committee that helps us take a look at research. We also get the chance to talk to people with lived experience who have lived through the mental health system. They will tell you what works and what doesn't work. And of course, we have varying opinions. Some people will tell you, uh, if it wasn't for this one treatment, I wouldn't be alive today. And other people will say, if it, this treatment harmed me. One size doesn't fit all in treatment. We want to give people all the tools that there are in the world. We have donors that have a lot of money. We also have donors that take $10 a month out of their social security checks or their disability checks because they want to be a part of the mental health team that discovers and changes the standard of care. And the Foundation for Excellence in Mental Health Care is the financial structure to do just that. So we're asking you to donate to the foundation so we can fund research and programs that will change the face of mental health care in the United States and around the world. We do expect recovery, and we're gonna make sure that that happens. We'll do that together.